So today I'm gonna to test every scenario I can think of, and hopefully that helps you make a decision whether or not the Starlink Mini's uh, built-in router is good enough for you. Hey friends, Adam here. I'm out exploring some trails in Pennsylvania where I grew up and enjoying the beautiful fall colors. And I thought today would be a good day to answer one of the questions that a lot of you have had as I've been sharing Starlink videos showing the Starlink Mini versus the standard and talking about service plans and just sharing some tips and tricks from our travels. So I'll link those other videos below. But the question that a ton of you have asked is what is the real world performance of the Starlink Mini's built-in router in conditions like you find at camp while traveling and while adventuring. And so one of the most exciting things about the new Mini is that the router is built in. You don't have a separate piece of equipment. You don't have a separate power supply. It's all self-contained. But the question is, is it good enough for a situation like this where we're out dispersed camping or camping at a campground or something like that? And so today I want to test a whole bunch of scenarios. One of the scenarios is going as far as I can go uh, and checking how the signal degrades and what kind of bandwidth uh, I get in, in real life. And then other scenarios, which a lot of you have asked, which is what happens when it's going through something like the wall of my camper or metal, like the side of this box on the truck, or what happens when there's a vehicle in the way or things like that. How far will it go? So today I'm gonna to test every scenario I can think of, and hopefully that helps you make a decision whether or not the Starlink Mini's uh, built-in router is good enough for you. Now, of course, if you get an external router that has more juice and more range and better specs, uh, it's probably gonna work better, but I love carrying this one piece of equipment, and so I really wanna answer the question, is it good enough for me? Can I make it work without carrying all that extra gear? Because in a rig like this, space is precious, and so if we can minimize some of that gear and minimize some of that complexity, that's a good thing for me. So let's get to the tests. At Bantha Overland, we're on a mission to inspire and enable more people to get outside and experience the fulfillment of overland-based travel. Join us as we share our adventures and tips for finding awesome routes and dispersed camping, make our own DIY gear, and try to find our balance of mixing work and play as we try to spend more of our time traveling, exploring, and connecting. So right now the Starlink is right by the rig. This is often a place I would have it if there's a clear view of the sky, but often there isn't. Uh, to the front and the right side of the rig, which is actually where north is pointing, which is where you're supposed to point the Starlink, there's a bunch of trees. They're beautiful. They got some good fall color, but unfortunately they're blocking our signal. And so right now I actually have the Starlink pointed at about uh, a 45 degree angle to the south and it's working really good. So that's one caveat, you know, in this test, I'm not really saying anything about the maximum throughput or bandwidth of a Starlink. I'm just trying to, to test relative offsets. Okay, for today's test, I'm gonna be using the Starlink app to do our experiment and measure the results. And as you can see, DJ Starlink Mini is online. And uh, I'm gonna use the speed test. Now, one thing that not everybody realizes is that uh, this speed test doesn't really separate out uh, whether you're getting that much bandwidth from Starlink between the Starlink and the satellites in space or whether you're getting that much speed between uh, your device such as this phone and the router, in this case inside the Starlink Mini. And so we're going to use the advanced speed test because it's going to separate out some of the statistics. So right now you can see the basic speed test says our baseline with the Starlink maybe 20 feet away from me um, is 168 megabits per second download and 14.5 megabits per second upload, which is a pretty standard speed I'd get with the Starlink Mini and other places. So I'm gonna go to run advanced speed test. What you're gonna see here is that first it's gonna test Starlink to internet. So this is the amount of bandwidth you're gonna get between the Starlink here on the ground and the Starlinks floating around in space. And next it's gonna go device to Starlink. So this is really the number we care about today this is helping us to test what is the bandwidth between my phone and the Starlink router. And we're guessing that that's gonna fall off a little bit um, as I move further away. And all right, so we're gonna use these numbers as our baseline numbers as we do the rest of the tests. So I'm gonna take a screenshot, poof, and there we go. Let's go test. Now, if you look at the Starlink specs, one thing you'll see is that it says it covers about 1200 square feet. 
And if you do the math, that's about 35 square feet by 35 square feet. And so that's really generally the size of your average house, right? If you put this on your roof, you can imagine 35 feet in both directions. And the Starlink website also says that the router tends to do a little bit better when, uh, with, with signal strength when uh, you're behind it. So in this case, this way uh, towards the rig, and then also when you're under it. So imagine again, it's on a roof and it's on a pitch. Uh, you can imagine how you know, most of that coverage area, that 35 by 35 square would be your house. This obviously is a different situation. So I'm actually going this way, which is uh, mostly in front of the router and the device. And so according to what I read from Starlink, it seems like it would do not as good, uh, but this is a real world situation. I often have to point it where I can get a signal. In this case, it's south. And so uh, we're just gonna test that because that's probably what's gonna happen out in the real world. So let's get to it. So I'm about 35 feet away from the rig. So if the Starlink spec says 35 by 35, I'm right now on the boundary of uh, its advertised working range. And so this is a clear situation line of sight. And so I'm gonna do my first speed test here and see what happens. All right, so here's the results about 35 feet away from the Starlink. And uh, you can see both of these numbers for the device to the router around 200 megabits per second, pretty consistent in the graph. I'm gonna flip back to our baseline numbers being about uh, 10 or 15 feet away from the Starlink. So again, about 215, a bit higher on the upload, but for all practical purposes, pretty similar. So now I'm gonna go a little bit further away. All right, now I'm about 100 feet away from the Starlink, and I'm gonna do another speed test. All right, so this is at about 100 feet, so 45 megabits download, 28 up. We compare that with 35 feet, it's definitely going down. Now to do a real test, I'm gonna play a YouTube video. And so this is a common activity. You might be looking something up for repair or just uh, to plan something the next day at camp. And so I'm gonna pick one of my videos here, the uh, Starlink Showdown, the Miniverse Standard. And I haven't preloaded this video, so this should be loading for the first time. So we're here today at camp with our Starlink Mini and our Starlink Standard the maps and then we turn it off when we're done. So you might not be able to see it too well because it's a little sunny, but it's working just fine. Got a really good resolution. Looks like it's uh, running at 720p. So very usable. All right, so now I'm about 200 feet away from the Starlink and the rig. And so that's pretty far. I generally don't go this far at camp. Maybe if you were, uh, going to the bathroom or something like that, um, you know, you might, or if you, you know, are camped and going down to a lake or something. So this is almost the edge of the field. And so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a test and uh, see what happens at 200 feet away from the Starlink Mini. All right, so here's the results of the speed test at 200 feet away from the Starlink Mini. Looks like it's still pretty respectable. 62 down and 19 up. And I'm going to watch a YouTube video here to test some uh, real world performance, a real use case. So over here in YouTube, I'm going to play. I've been traveling with my new Starlink Mini for about a week. So as you can see, it's and working it's going really pretty well. good as well. And uh, I have another video if you're interested, sort of showing how it's performed. So another common question I get is, does it work when you're on the other side of your rig, your camper, your truck, your van, whatever? And so. This camper is fiberglass and it is full of metal and wood and things. I'm gonna stand on the other side of the truck and see if uh, I still get a good connection with the Starlink Mini. All right, so here are those results from the speed test with me standing on the side of the camper. Look really good if we compare it to the numbers from 200 feet away pretty similar numbers, and I watched a YouTube video and performance was great as well. And so we're gonna test the last uh, big use case that I get a lot of questions about, which is what if I'm inside of the camper, inside your rig, uh, you might be in there working or if the weather's not great, and so I'm gonna get in there and give it a test. All right, so I'm in the camper. I'm in one of my favorite places in the camper. Got the toilet right here, it's great. If you don't have one, get it. It's way better than digging a hole in the woods. 
and you don't leave any of that toilet paper laying around either. And uh, there's a nice seat too, because the heat's coming out of the heater when it's cold. It's just, it's a great place to be. So it's also a place where I might check my email or post some photos, check out what's new for the day. And so it's a great place to do a speed test as well. All right. So another great test. You can see the numbers here. But as you can see, really great download and upload speeds, way more uh, akin to when I was standing uh, 10 to 20 feet away in the beginning and uh, very usable. So I love that one as well. Works great on the toilet, works great in our rig. Of course, your rig will vary depending on what it's made out of and if it's more metal or how thick it is, but um, I think really good performance. All right, so that was fun. We tested the distance at 200 feet away from camp. We tested being on the other side of this metal and fiberglass truck with a bunch of gear in it. And we tested sitting on the toilet, one of my favorite places to be in the camper. And so I think it worked really well. Um, I'm of course comparing this for practical purposes for my needs of browsing the web, checking email, downloading maps, watching YouTube, maybe being on a Zoom call or two if there's a little work to be done while traveling. And I think for that, it's still good. I'm still gonna try and make this one work. I am sure with a larger router that we could get more range uh, and more throughput. But I think for now, this is pretty good. I still have my old router in there from my Starlink uh, Gen 3 standard. And so I might do some tests with that. Uh, let me know what other kind of questions you have if you're curious about other things with the Wi-Fi, the distance, the bandwidth, power, mounting, things like that. And I'll try and make a video to answer your questions. Now, of course, as you probably know, I love using Starlink on a tripod. It lets me move it around and get the best view of the sky for the best connection. And in a situation like this today, where I needed to get away from these trees, I think it worked really well. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, hit the like button so other folks like you can find helpful content like this. And if you're interested in following along on our journey as we continue to mix work and play while we adventure around the world with our Starlink Mini, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what other questions you have. I'd be happy to try and answer them. And until next time, I'm Adam. See you out there. Oh, this is a great YouTube video. I wonder if it's gonna work when I'm pooping in the woods.